Here's what we know and don't know yet about the winter of 2020-21 in Central Virginia. Let's start with the outlook from NOAA to get clues about the temperature and precipitation trends ahead. When they average out the months of December, January, and February, they expect above normal mean temperatures to prevail in Virginia and all the places in orange and red up and down the eastern seaboard and south. In blue, below normal winter mean temperatures are favored from the Pacific Northwest to the Northern Plains. As for precipitation, drier than normal conditions are most likely from southeastern Virginia all the way to California, shown in brown, and the places with the best chance of seeing wetter than normal winter weather are in green, the Ohio Valley all the way to the Pacific Northwest. The outlook is pretty characteristic of a pattern in the Pacific Ocean called La Nina, and that's when cooler than normal ocean temperatures persist along the equator west of South America. It's the opposite of El Nino, which you might have heard of, when the waters there are warmer than usual. So what we do know is that La Nina pattern will probably last into next year, and it will probably influence our weather. Even though it's a half a world away, it's important for us because it changes the atmosphere. It guides the jet stream differently, so highs and lows end up in different positions. So during a La Nina, we'd expect some places to end up warmer or cooler, wetter or drier than usual. And it so happens that Virginia is one of the places that tends to end up warmer and drier when we see this. But La Nina does not mean blazing hot and drought and no snow at all. When we look at history, we still see a lot of variation in similar years. Remember 1996? That big snowstorm came in a La Nina year. But it was an exception. Other patterns overlap to determine how cold and snowy we get on the week-to-week -week scale. But on average, La Nina winters fall a few inches short of the others when it comes to snow totals around Richmond. So it's too early to give up hope if you're a snow lover. This pattern probably just cuts down on the odds that it will be persistently cold or unusually wet here over the next several months. When those other weather patterns come in to make things cold and snowy and interesting, we'll just have to stay tuned.